Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today let's do together an after dark speed clean of the kitchen. I want to begin by showing you all of these before shots so that you can see what we will be working with. You can see I have stuff everywhere, dishes to put away, dishes to wash, items to put away, etc. Thank you for clicking on this video and tuning in for this speed cleaning. I know how quickly our houses can get messy, so a speed clean will always help keeping the chaos under control. First put into the sink all the dirty dishes and throw away anything that needs to. Then speed clean one appliance that most needs to, this way you can keep up with clean appliances. For me today is this panini maker because we made paninis for lunch. Remember, just a very fast clean up. Next put away anything that needs to. Dry dishes, bread, random items, etc. Now that your counters are cleared, you can remove any crumbs or debris from it. Next, take care of the dishes. Put them into the dishwasher and wash by hand the bulky ones or the ones that are not supposed to go into the dishwasher. Thank you for stopping by and taking time of your busy day to watch my video. I leave these items to air dry until next morning when I will put them away and I had some lemons to put in that fruit holder. After you wash the dishes, clear any food residue you have left in the sink and speed clean the sink. It's very important to wash your sink every time you did the dishes because bacteria will stay alive on surfaces up to 4 days. So on dishes that have contamination, like food particles, bacteria can stay alive for a very long time. Food particles from soaking cutlery or dishes rinsed before being put in the dishwasher get left behind in the sink and act as a breeding ground for illness-causing bacteria, including E. coli and Salmonella. Cleaning the sink every time you do the dishes is therefore more than just good housekeeping, it's essential. I always use some sieve cream like today or powder scrubbing cleaner. Next, wipe the counters. I always use a disinfectant spray which does not require a rinsing and a microfiber cloth. This way I make sure my counter is disinfected too. Another tip that helps you keep a clean and organized kitchen is to declutter and clean a very small area every day. It only takes one minute. Now I do this with my bottle tray. I put away some medicine that was left there and clean it very quickly. Wow. 
One more thing that you can do to keep up with cleaning is to dust one thing. Today I choose to dust this area that really needs to. I use glass cleaner and paper towel because it has that mirror shiny look and it's difficult to clean it smudge free. So I learned that for this area this is the best way to clean it. I put back my cleaners and the new microfiber cloth because that one was dirty and that's it. My kitchen is clean, disinfected, germ free, ready for a new day. I never go to bed without speed cleaning my kitchen because I don't like to get up to a messy dirty kitchen. No more crumbs, food residue, dirty dishes messes, all shiny. Please let me know in the comments below if you clean your kitchen before going to bed. No more dust or smelly dirty dishes in the sink. This evening I also took out the garbage because next day was garbage day, but I didn't film it. This is how you can clean your kitchen in only 10 minutes so you can have a fresh start of the day tomorrow. Sometimes we don't clean certain areas of our homes because at the end of the day we are so tired and we think it's going to take so much time. But remember, it only takes 10 minutes. You can do this. I want to be a reminder for you that small actions like this keep a clean and tidy house. I will link here at the end my cleaning motivation playlist if you need some and other interesting videos. I hope this video was helpful, if so please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and see you next time, bye!